All right, welcome everybody. Uh, my name is Gergely Chatari. I'm working for uh, Nokia and uh, one of my tasks in uh, inside the company to look what's happening in OpenStack and look what's happening with uh, with containers. So now I'm able to like present you the uh, the union of these two uh, activities. Uh, through the lens of uh, tech guys, um, uh, uh, Google's. So uh, with this presentation, I will uh, briefly cover the projects in OpenStack which are dealing with containers. Maybe I will miss something because things are happening very fast. And I try to use uh, these uh, um, uh, colors to indicate different things. So the light blue um, uh, box is a physical host, so like a server, but you can but you can lift a uh, real deal. Uh, a dark blue uh, box is a virtual machine. The gray box is a container, and and the yellow boxes are OpenStack services, either they are running in virtual machines or containers or on bare metal. So, and um, I categorize these uh, OpenStack projects into three categories. Uh, first of them is uh, when we are running uh, OpenStack services themselves in containers. So from Teco point of view, this means that the, the NFEI infrastructure and the Vim uh, are running inside the containers, but the Northern the APIs uh, of OpenStack are the same and they are running uh, virtual machines still, but the infrastructure is, is um, delivered and, and deployed inside containers. So the project which is, um, which is creating the, the container images and, uh, and starts uh, the containers uh, of the OpenStack services is called uh, Colla, and it has a nice uh, uh, logo which is related to Australia somewhat. And inside this, uh, this Cola project, there are several sub-projects, and one of them being is, uh, is a Cola Ansible, uh, which is a project to create uh, Ansible playbooks, which are deploying the, uh, the OpenStack services running in Docker containers into the, into the physical servers. So Ansible is like an, uh, an automation uh, tool, and with this tool, you can deploy um, your uh, OpenStack cloud running in the containers let's say with one click. The other similar approach still inside the, uh, the Cola project is Cola Kubernetes. So Kubernetes is a, is a container orchestration tool. I hope that all of you know what is it, what is it doing. So with, uh, in, in Cola Kubernetes, they are doing the, the, the pod manifests for the, for the uh, OpenStack pods, and they are deploying them uh, via Kubernetes. And there is uh, like one, layer higher Helm, which is, a, let's say, a package manager for, for Kubernetes, so it, it uh, can template your, your um, uh, pod manifest and so on and so on, so you can have uh, uh, like deployment specifics in a separate file, and, uh, and in this way you can, you can store your, your generic templates in, in, into your uh, repo and just change the the configuration files and, and Helm just uh, just uh, puts all the all the deployment specifics into the into the uh, pod manifest. So with uh, with OpenStack Helm, they are they are providing these uh, these uh, Helm charts. So with these uh, these uh, three things working together, you can have a, a very nice uh, OpenStack deployment that you can you can upgrade easily you can you can extend easily this is what we saw in the uh, keynote by by at and guys uh, when they just upgraded a, a full OpenStack deployment in in four minutes from one release to to another uh, at and is heavily involved in, in OpenStack helm actually they, they started it and they they are still driving it very uh, very heavily Okay, still, still we are just deploying OpenStack inside containers, and OpenStack Ansible actually has, uh, uh, are using uh, LXC containers to isolate the different, uh, different services of OpenStack, because, because uh, containers are very good to, to isolate the dependencies of the different services from each other. So if, if I don't know, OpenStack service A uses a, a library version one, and OpenStack service B uses library version two, they will not, uh, not um, have a problem because the, uh, the containers are separating these, these um, dependencies from each other. So that's like just a feature of containers which is used by, by uh, OpenStack and Zeebel. 
Also, there is a, there is a project uh, mostly driven by, by Ubuntu to run OpenStack in, in LXD. So it's, uh, it's, it's uh, Ubuntu's uh, so-called uh, uh, machine containers, and they, they can start uh, OpenStack services inside LXD containers, and they can manage the whole, whole deployment and upgrade of the, of the containers with, uh, with Juju, which is their, their uh, automation tool. And um, there is also Triple O, which is now in Pike introducing uh, the possibility to run the OpenStack services inside, uh, inside containers. So Triple O is, is, uh, is deploying OpenStack from another OpenStack. So here the, the uh, um, controlling layer of how to deploy OpenStack is running in one uh, OpenStack uh, installation, which is using uh, Mistral and Ansible to, to deploy the, the OpenStack, which finally carries the, the workload of the, of the virtual machines. So these were the projects which are, which are deploying OpenStack in, in containers. As, as you can see, there are like several of them. Each of them are, are one option how to approach the, the problem. Uh, the second category of the of the projects which are dealing with containers are actually running containers in OpenStack. So how can we start a container OpenStack? Um, Mistral, uh, sorry, Magnum is one, one solution for that. So Magnum um, provides you a way to deploy a Kubernetes or another uh, so-called COE, like container orchestration engine, into OpenStack. And you can start your containers inside the COE. Um, here the problem is that uh, if you would like to manage these applications, then you have to talk to uh, OpenStack APIs and then to the COE, COE APIs. So if you are considering this as, uh, as uh, one or two VIMs, then um, your VNF manager have to talk uh, both OpenStack and, 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 this, and the API of, of COE, which is, uh, uh, makes a bit, uh, life a bit more difficult. But there is a solution to run uh, uh, containers without the COE. So with, with, with the COE solution, uh, we also have the problem that, that all the operate, operability difficulties are, are duplicated. So we have to have people who are able to maintain an OpenStack installation and at the same time a Kubernetes installation, <laughs> which is uh, like a lot, lot of things to know. Uh, with Zoom, we have the possibility to start containers inside uh, OpenStack without, uh, without a COE. Uh, Zoom, let, let's say, so Zoom, Zoom is uh, providing an OpenStack API, but still not, not a Nova, Nova API. So if we are considering uh, the implementation of what is needed in, in the Vim side, we still need to implement uh, a Nova API uh, and the Zoom API to start, uh, start the containers. And, and Zoom also have the possibility to, to start these containers in, uh, in bare metal uh, uh, compute nodes managed by Ironic or virtual machines which are started by, by Nova. Uh, of course, Nova also have uh, uh, container drivers. So it has uh, drivers for LXC, LXD, and uh, Virtuoso. These are, these are all different uh, containerization uh, technologies. And, uh, and here, with the Nova API uh, call, you can start these containers in, in, uh, in OpenStack. But the, there was a Docker, Docker driver for, for Nova, but that's, uh, that's deprecated because nobody uh, maintains it. So now we reach the, like, the third uh, category of the proje projects. This is like providing OpenStack services for containers. So it's not, not enough to start a container, uh, inside OpenStack, but, but uh, this container should be able to use the, the services of, of, uh, of the OpenStack um, uh, projects, like uh, Courier, for example, provides Neutron uh, services to, to Docker containers. So in this way, if you start um, a container with Zoom in, in an OpenStack installation, you can, you can connect that, uh, that container with Courier uh, to the network of, of OpenStack so it can talk to like virtual machines which are running in the same, uh, <coughs> same OpenStack. And um, Fuxi is doing the same, uh, but with uh, Cinder and Maila uh, storages, so it, it provides a, a way to, to use 
Cinder and Manila storages for inside the containers. By the way, Cinder is a, like a sub-project of, of, uh, of Courier. Also, Courier has a, has a, has a plugin or has a sub-project called the Courier Kubernetes, so uh, containers which are started in Kubernetes can use uh, Neutron networks. So as you can see, there are like lots of, um, lots of projects. They are doing uh, lots of different things, which seem to be like a bit incoherent and chaotic for the first time. But, but um, the main thing is that, that uh, you can run both OpenStack on containers, and you can now run uh, container workloads inside OpenStack and connect them to other workloads running in OpenStack. You just have to pick the right uh, uh, pieces. At the end of the presentation, I collected all these project, projects and the VKs and, and uh, documentation of these. Uh, this presentation is available on the, on the uh, summit schedule, so you can download it and, and have this uh, data for your own. Unfortunately, I think I ran out of time, so I don't have uh, time to take in questions, but I'm happy to answer anything after my presentation. Thank you.